The parameters used in this video, such as the size of the XK chromatography column, type of resin, packing volume, and flow rate are examples. In actual operation, please follow the experimental requirements and the resin instructions. Estimate the amount of slurry needed based on the final volume of the column. Most of our resins are delivered in a slurry concentration of 75% in storage solution, in most cases 20% ethanol. To calculate the slurry volume needed to pack a column at a certain volume, the following equation can be used. For example, to pack a 120 milliliter column with a resin that has a slurry concentration of 75%, and with a compression factor of 1.15, the necessary slurry volume will be 184 milliliters. The compression factor is often found in the instruction for the resin. If not available, use a compression factor of 1.15. Ensure that the resin is washed thoroughly into the packing solution before packing is started. Use a fritted glass funnel to wash the resin over to the packing solution. Suspend the resin by shaking it gently and pour into the funnel. Remove the liquid using vacuum and wash the resin at least three times with the recommended packing solution to ensure that all storage solution has been removed. Gently stir with a plastic spatula between washes. After the last wash step, add packing solution to obtain the slurry concentration for the specific resin and column type. Now that you have prepared the resin, the next step is to prepare the column. In this video, we will show you how to pack an XK16 over 70 column with a size exclusion chromatography resin, Superdex 75 prep grade. The dimension of the column is 16 millimeter inner diameter and 70 centimeter height. We will pack the column with an approximately 120 milliliters of resin. Before initiating the packing of any chromatography column, make sure you have all the proper components in order. To pack the column, you will need the resin, a column, a packing reservoir, the bottom unit, the top adapter, a syringe connector, general lab equipment. You should also have distilled water and 20% ethanol and column stop plugs. Column packing is preferably performed on a chromatography system such as Ectopure. Ectopure is capable of delivering the pressure and flow required to create a well-packed column. In addition, the integrated UV and conductivity monitors, along with Unicorn control software, will help you evaluate the quality of the column packing. All column components must be in perfect condition. Inspect the glass components, paying particular attention to the ends. Columns with chipped ends should be replaced. Also inspect the nets. Unscrew the plunger from both the bottom piece as well as the adapter. Inspect the ferrule and tubing. The tubing must be securely fastened. Reassemble the bottom piece and adapter. Remove all traces of air in the bottom end piece by forcing 20% ethanol up through the net using a syringe connected to the tubing. Leave some ethanol over the net. Attach a stop plug and mount the end piece into the column and tie it securely. Mount the assembly onto the chromatography system. Add 20% ethanol or distilled water into the column to a height of two to three centimeters. Attach the packing reservoir and tie it securely. Level the column. If not level, the packed column may produce broad or crooked bands. Before start, set a pressure alarm in Unicorn according to the column hardware to be used. This information is found in the instructions for use for your column. In this case, it is 0.5 millipascal. Pour the slurry down a glass rod or spatula held against the wall of the column. This will minimize formation of air bubbles. It is crucial to pour all the resin at once without stopping. Add additional packing solution if the slurry does not reach the top. Use the pump wash function in Unicorn to remove unwanted air in the system or tubing. Place a beaker for waste under the column and remove the stop plug at the end of the column. 
Start the pump and attach the tube to the top of the reservoir at low flow rate with a drop-to-drop -drop connection. Start the pump at a flow rate that is recommended for your resin. Different flow rates are used for packing different resins. Some resins are packed in two phases. Please check the packing instruction before starting the flow. If you work at lower temperature, reduce the flow accordingly to avoid high back pressure caused by high viscosity. Now the resin moves down the tube and settles. When the bed height is stable, mark the level of the resin bed. Stop the pump and place the stop plug at the bottom of the column. Remove the column from the stand. Detach the column from the reservoir over a beaker. Add some packing solution, in this case distilled water, to the top of the column. Remove air in the adapter by injecting 20% ethanol. Let the ethanol stay on the net. Take the top adapter and fit it to the top of the column at 45 degree angle. Avoid introducing air bubbles. Lower the adapter gently. Remove any resin particles and liquid from the upper position. Adjust the adapter against the bed surface and tighten the end knob to seal the O-ring against the column wall. To fine tune the plunger in position, slide the plunger slowly further down two to three millimeters. Tighten the adapter. Reconnect the pump with a drop-to-drop -drop connection. Open the bottom of the column and run the column to check for any further bed movement. Readjust the adapter if necessary. Your column is now packed. If you are not using the column right now, remove the connection to the pump, screw stop plugs into both the top and bottom end of the column. Inspect for any channel or gap and your packed column is ready to use. Every column should be tested for packing quality. A performance test can evaluate the performance of the packed column. It is an excellent tool to check and document the quality of a column over its lifetime. It is also an effective diagnostic tool when performance problems occur. There are two methods used for the performance test. One is using distilled water as mobile phase, 1% acetone as sample, and testing UV absorption at 280 nanometer wavelength. The other uses 0.4 molar sodium chloride as mobile phase, 0.8 molar sodium chloride as sample, and the conductivity curve is evaluated. The sample volume of these two methods is 1% of the column volume. The flow rate to use for both methods is 30 centimeters per hour. Mount the column to the system and make a drop-to-drop -drop connection. Use a syringe to inject the sample to the sample loop. In Method Editor, choose the Column Performance Test Template. Type in related parameters, such as pre-column and delta pressure limit according to relevant column and resin, inlet of buffer, flow rate, volume of equilibration, and volume of sample application. Here, Superdex 75 PEP grade was packed in an XK 16 over 70 column to a volume of 120 milliliters, so that the pressure limits were set accordingly and the sample volume was set to 1.2 milliliters. Apply the sample and start the method. When this run ends, open the result and integrate the UV signal. Type in the bed height of the packed column. Click right in the data table Select HETP and Asymmetry. Here you can find the relevant values of column performance in the data table. The qualified HETP needs to meet the requirements described in the user manual, and Asymmetry needs to be between 0.8 and 1.5. Based on these requirements, performance test of this column is passed, 
and column packing has been successfully performed. Part of the packing process includes an efficient way to unpack the column. Remove the adapter and mount the column upside down to the system. Placing a beaker under the column. Set appropriate pressure and flow rates in Unicorn and flush out the resin from the column using liquid flow. Your column and resin may now be reused.